yep back out again after I survived the graveyard smash I'm out in the hills forecast is a mixed bag said it's gonna stay dry till about 11 o'clock p.m. and then rain but it also said it was gonna be misty but look <laughs> blue sky so I don't know I'm prepared for everything I've got my raincoat and uh, a towel and all the rest of it just prepare for all weathers it's the best way Phew! I'm so unfit I've got no hill fitness so this is killing me I'm just making it a short one but god it's steep up to the uh, top of there I think so steep um, I've put like I don't know, easily half a stone I've put on in the last couple of weeks, just being lazy like, it's my own fault, look at this <laughs> it's been some amount of rain up here like over the last week or so absolutely biblical so everything's really wet so i've got the tent with the torn floor obviously because it's wet but i've got the, i've got the repair on so i'll see how that works out i've got the, the footprint to put under it and the i've got that silver the silver foil mat that should stop us ripping it more just put the silver moil the foil mat over it the silver moil fat Anyway, struggling on. Let me get up there. Whew. I definitely need to do something about my fitness. It's that van, man. It's making us lazy. Poof. Right. Wow, it's just up all the way here. Leg breaking. I've got, um, what I'm doing is, right, I've got the, the media mod on, I forgot to mention this, and because I'm an idiot, I didn't realise you had the option to turn the microphone on, on the media mod, so I've got both on, front and back, so how's the sound? Whew. Let us know what you think of the sound. From what I watched the last one, the graveyard shift, I had the same thing, same setup, Sound was good, man. So the media mod actually does work. I'll, I'll take it all back. I'll take it all back. God, this is getting steeper. I nearly fell backwards there. Whew. All right. I right, saw so media mod with microphones switched on. When I did that experiment, they were off. And that's why. Right. Well, we're at the style of destiny. Look at this eerie, isn't it? This is the shell anyway. The top. I think I'm going to be pitching on the other side. Whew, the wind's coming that way. Oh, it's round up that last bit. Whew. Just wanted to get on with it. This is the Pennine Way. And part of it comes right past the shell. Oh, they say that the border is here, so I'm on the England side at the minute. I don't think the fence is the border. I'm not sure. It's a bit of a grey area. Some people say it is. Some say it's not. This is the border here. The, the rocks is on the other side of there. It's Scotland. Ah, I say it's Scotland now anyway. If you look on the map, this is where the line is. Anyway, hopefully anybody here. I'm just gonna go around the other side. Have a look. Eerie. Set up 
with the, uh, the tail stick. The wind is getting over the tail there. It's a little bit of a breeze coming through. It's not that bad. He's, I'm getting a lot of shelter from here, which is good. <laughs> the wind channels through there. But, ah, it's alright. It's a cold wind though. It's really icy cold. So usual setup. That that repair held quite well. Anybody who didn't see the, the video I did of the repair. There it is. Ooh, there it is. Ooh, there it is. But I've got the seat to summit mat. My thermo rests away at the repair shop again. Hopefully they can sort it out. Uh, 900 bag, not quite 1100 weather. I'm gonna put this t-shirt on in a second. Cause it's one I've got on, it's the one I walked up in. Uh, I've got my food for there. Some beers. A very strange beer, this one. Can't wait to try this. Botanicalist Gin and Tonic IPA. Never had that before. Magic Rocks, so it should be all right. Uh, we'll find out, won't we? That should be blooming awful. Ooh, my legs. I've got a phone signal up here. So if you come up, you can check the weather. And the weather is not going to rain till later on tonight, so it should be all right. Whew, that's it. That's it all set up. A good little spot, that. Previously, I've camped here. And on the other side of this, this wall here, on the back of there, twice. So it's not a new new place to camp, but I just fancied coming back up, you know. There's people over there. I'm going to go and see them in a minute, like, see if they, see if they recognise us. <laughs> Do you not know who I am? No, who are you? Ronnie Pickering. Who? Ronnie Pickering. Anyway, right. Calm down. Well, it's a bit too early for a cup of tea, and it's cold. It's throwing off a load of heat. That's lovely. Oh, that is really nice. That's an half warming me up. I knew this would be good in the winter. Then I'll put some water in. And it just sits on there like that. Loving this pot. How easy it is to use and control. But the heat coming off it. Oh, lovely. So I'm going to have a nice cup of tea. And uh, I've just been chatting to them lads over there. They come up from uh, that way, Kirk Yetlum. One's in a Lanshan, and the other one's in a Scarp one. Good tent. He's got it pitched properly, you know. You can tell the difference when you pitch it. Oh, he's got it. Anyway. <laughs> Freezing. How am I going to survive the winter? Oh, well, um, it's only five o'clock. I'm um, just having a one beer for now. Uh, you've got to have what George Michael has had faith. Sitting listening to the radio, chilling out really. Um, adjusted my sleeping position. It's big, there's a big delve here, like I'm in the, in the middle. It's fine, but on on that side is on that side. It's like a, it's like a little trough. So I'm just pushing me stuff up that way to, for now. And when I go to bed, I'll bring it in the middle, and that'll be all right. I've tried it; it doesn't slip about. Idiot, pitching in the trough. Oh yeah. Did I mention that? I did. That's it, really. Not much to say. Uh, hi, <laughs> how are you? So anyway, about the microphone, what do you think of the microphone? Is it any good? Personally, I think it's, it is. I think it works well. I tried it, um, oh, you've seen the video, with that when I was out testing the new microphone, which was a waste of time, that's in a bin. Um, You've got to spend a lot of money on microphones. You can't get these cheap ones, just no good like. 
I don't think they. I don't think they're very good because they just crackle and hiss and all the rest of it. The noises were terrible. But um, yeah, I looked. I looked on um, I looked on YouTube and found a thing about the media mod. And this guy says, "Oh yeah, so you turn on both microphones." I'm like, "Hold on a minute, I didn't know anything about this." But yeah, if you go through the menu of the GoPro, it's all there. It's all there for you. Media mod, front or back, you can have both on. So this is the front one on. And if you turn around, this is the back microphone. So I've got them both on, so there shouldn't be any difference there. And on the screen, you've got like a, um, a VU meter as well. It's all, it's just staying in the green, it's just, as long as it doesn't go in the red. Oi, oi, oi! No, kind of get it in the red. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, um, I'll do some impressions. Noel Edmonds, right? Deal or no deal? I think that's one of my best ones. Um, what's the other one? Prince Charles? King Charles? Yes! I'm the king now! Yes! Um, uh, Ronnie Corbett? Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, that's his glasses. That's shoving his glasses up. Um, my, good night from me. Good night from him. You got any O's? Sorry. That's it, really. Sylvester Stallone. Adrian! Adrian! Douche! Right, I'm gonna turn off now. I had enough. I'm an idiot, man. <laughs> right, I'm going to start cooking, cooking the tea. I've got in here, in this bag of dreams, I got some um, pasta pronto. That comes later. That comes later on. I've got a doggy's cock. I mean, a bit of chorizo. Chorizo. And some, well, a chicken breast. Chicken breast, chorizo, and pasta pronto. This is what we wrap had. The other week at the reservoir, I oh, know I got jealous, so I had to have it. Weather's outside, blooming awful. Let's have a look, let's get this light on. I mean, look, this cloud, isn't it? I'm in the cloud. So, we're not seeing anything of views and that tonight, unfortunately. Oh, so we've got chopping board. Oh, knock that off. Got the chopping board ready to chop up the chicken and the piggy's willy. Piggy's will. Piggy's willy. Look at it, man. Chorizo's a funny thing, isn't it? It's lovely, but. Um, yeah, the chopping board. Oh, the cooker. Yeah, my stove's ready here. I just gotta get the legs out. Frying pan and all the bits and bobs, right? So we will be coming back. There we go. We've got all the chicken chopped up. Chorizo chopped up. Just got that, got that ready there. Can of pussy. Good game. Good game. Just gonna get it on. Here we go, we'll get the chicken in. Notice there's not a lot of chicken. That was only one breast. Just chop it all up. <laughs> and the, the chorizo can go in after that. Never mix the two. I've got wipes, I've got, uh, what do you call it, wipes, to wipe up the surfaces. <coughs> so there's no cross contaminations. Is, is, is. I'm gonna do a video through the week, right? Of the um, the thing I've got, the adapter I've got, which transfers your old gas into the new gas. It's mint, absolutely mint. You've, there's one thing you've got to watch out for, which will all be explained, but it's great. That's full now. It was empty, but now it's full. And I had about five canisters of gas with a little bit in, and I put it all in there. It's great, this thing. 
It's not a cheap Chinese copy, it's absolutely mint. It's a proper real deal. We'll see that video coming up soon. Ah, steamy. It's condensation tonight, like. There you go. The churn thaws in. I'm just giving that a uh, that sort of like um, marinades the chicken as well, so it gives it a nice spicy paprika flavour. Yeah, it's good. It smells lovely. Look forward to this and just hoy the pasta in after that. Chuck the pasta on top of that, give it a mix. Nice. I like it. The stove stays where it's meant to be. Good. And there we go. So the pasta's in. I put a little bit of water in because it looked a bit dry like. But uh, I, that'll just turn into a stock and make it nice. Nice and moist. So I'm not going to sit chowing down on it because I don't think that's very nice. And there we go. Pasta. Chorizo, chorizo, and chicken. Courtesy of Wee Rab, his recipe. Well, here I am, right? And it's absolutely freezing out there. Really cold, really cold. Oh, there's no view whatsoever. It's just bleak. Town for this. It's just, I think I'm in the cloud. Not the eye cloud, but the cloud. You know what that means, don't you? Bloody condensation. Anyway, now you can hear about it. So I'm keeping warm with this stuff. <laughs> it's doing the trick, mate. It really is doing the trick. The fire maple. Mars Radiant Stove. I'm not plugging it, I've done that. But this is a belt of this thing, like. This is brilliant. This is like the um, MSR reactor. Same kind of thing. But I'm just using it now as a heater. And it's thrown out some heat. I've warmed up in, well, straight away. I was freezing. Now I'm just getting there, like. So I'll leave that on for another five minutes or so. I got a vent up here, venting it, and it's open. It's in the open porch, so it's not um, it's not dangerous. Just listening to Craig Charles, um, catching up on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram, Andy Wardle. Dead easy, Instagram, where I get I update all the um, you know as I go on the camp. I just post the odd story, and then I'll post. On like Sunday, I'll post um, a photo dump of the trip, and that's it, really. I don't saturate. I'm on Andy's camper van as well. Andy, no, Andy's van life is the the, the camper van channel. Andy's van life, which is just me in the van and stuff. Because I was out in that last night, posted a few pictures. Um, what's the other one? My YouTube channel. The other YouTube channel is Andy's Camper Van FJ19 because that, that was the old registration of the van. FJ19. Oh, my legs. My legs. Oh my god. Ah, oh, it's horrible. Sitting here crossed leg for ages. This is already two and a half minutes long, this section. But yeah, I'm just chilling out here. Yeah, there's not much you can do. Ten pound, but you know. It's all right, I don't mind. Don't mind a bit of tent bind. But it's lovely and, lovely and warm, that. <laughs> Look at this. I've been checking, right, that's not getting hot, so it's all right. So the, the heat's only reaching to about there, where my foot is there. Up here, it's not getting hot. It's all good. It's gonna be a lot of condensation, though. Oh, oh, blimey geyser.
it's flipping tight as. Right, what I'm gonna do is uh, review this beer. I've never done a beer review for a long time. This is called the Botanicalist Gin and Tonic IPA. Really? 6% volume, right? Tap the top for no reason. Pop it. Pop at. Have a snuff. Oh. Oh. Actually, I sniffed that too hard. I inhaled. <laughs> oh man, I took some in me nose there. Right, right, take it easy. It doesn't smell of anything. Oh my god. It tastes nothing like gin or tonic. Right. Actually getting a little bit of tonic. Oh, imagine. Oh, nah. That's bloody awful. Imagine you have a, um, a gin and tonic. And you leave it for like a few days. And then you have a drink. The tonic's still fizzy. That's what it's like. Oh. I'm not getting any gin at all on that. Like that's that's horrible. Ugh. Still gonna drink it. Like. Oh no. No. I'm actually getting the tonic, but not the gin. So. That's a thumbs down for me, like, I'll give it, uh, out of ten, I'll give it three, in fact, no, I'll give it two, two wobbly eggs out of ten, because that's not nice. I am keep trying it to give it the benefit of the doubt, you know what I mean, you may get a little bit more, maybe it's because I had another IPA. No. Magic Rock Brewery. Your gin and tonic didn't work. The botanical list. Your botanical list. Botanical. Whatever. No, it hasn't worked like. Ugh. Just get one of them little tins of gin and tonic if you want one of them. That's flipping horrible. I'm still drinking it. <laughs> back still ten pound and uh, yeah this is about 45 minutes later right I'm still trying to get through this horrible horrible beer I don't like it at all I've got this one next heathen I've got this because that's what I am and there's a tram double New England IPA, 8% that one. I might not drink that. Um, I'm gonna do a few more impressions because that's what people want. Be seeing you. Um, I was gonna do uh, Clint Eastwood's one of my favorites. No, you got the eyes. This is a cigar, right? Go ahead, punk, make me day. <laughs> me donkey doesn't like to be called an ass. No, me, no. What is he saying, that? I've fired four shots. Oh, he doesn't smoke in dirty, how is he? I fired four shots, or did I fire five? Well, ah, oh, me light. Bloody light, man. Um, did I fire five shots or four? Well, I can't remember. I, I was going to do Jimmy Nail as well. Why, I man? How are you, pet? Let's go down the tune for a pint of brew nail. That's Jimmy Nail. Um, 
Robson Brown is a wee pet man. Let's go up the tune for a glass of champagne because he's posh Geordie, isn't he? Robson Jerome. Robson Jerome. What's he called? Green. Robson Green. Thompson Green. Ah, oh, I don't know. Um, uh, who else can I do? I can do anybody, like. Anyway, I'm going to turn off now. Um, just having this one. Might not even bother with them. Uh, we'll see you in the morning. Oh, I'm really tired. I think I'll sleep well tonight because I'm tired. And um, it's not too cold in here now. I've got it all zipped up at the front. So, yeah. That's it. That is it. Morning, friends, campers, countrymen. Lend me your spare sleeping mat. As you can see, didn't clear up. Rained overnight. One too bad. Didn't last long. Bit of a just a passing shower. Oh, I've slept late, I think it's half nine. Yeah, what the hell with it. I was tired. I was tired, there's nobody around. Not really much to bother about getting up for. There's no sunrise. It's nothing. <laughs> oh dear. It's good to be out though. Good to be out in a tent. Uh, so Oh yeah, still tired. I've got a cheek. I'm gonna get the kettle on, have a brew, and then pack away. Uh, be drying the tent out again. I've got a. Uh, I've seen you've seen me method for drying the tent. Washing line. Right. That's it. Not much to say. There we go. That's where I was. No traces. Ooh, so now I have to get off the hill and find my way down in the murk. We'll go down here over the stile, over the over the knobby, or the harry if you're young. And that's it. I'll say a fond farewell. Good night, Lake. Had a good night. Nice and relaxing. No panic, no stress, no rushing about. Got up this morning. Had a cup of... It's nearly... It's half ten now. So, you know. I just didn't fancy... I didn't fancy an early pack-up. So, if you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. And I'll be back out again. Whenever, wherever. Like Beyonce said, if you liked it, then you should have stuck a ring on it. Actually, that wasn't Beyonce, was it? It was Taylor Cyrus. We just come back to film the atmosphere. And the clouds broke, the suns broke through the cloud. Coming down a steep old path. Views. Objective. Right, that's it this time. See you on the next one.